to you. I'm about to make some somebody close I'm about to make some coffee right now. We live with it. Please give us love. Please show us a different way in this world. Please guide us and protect us. In Jesus' name, Amen. I love you. I love you, man. It feels good. It just does. What's up? So I'm doing a lot of video editing today and while I'm doing this video editing it actually brought up some interesting thoughts for me and I wanted to share those thoughts with you guys. So the thought came up and the question rather, what makes good content? Like what makes good content good? Is it the camera angles? Is it uh, the quality, the sound? You know we put a lot of work into uh, the work that we do as far as video editing and um, you know, it just made me think about that. So I started thinking about a lot of the videos that I watch online. Now I've always said that I, have, you know, I have a degree in YouTube University as far as watching YouTube videos and like different content because I've literally been doing this for the last ten or eleven years since YouTube came out. I remember one of the first videos I watched on YouTube was like Smackfest from <laughs> from like ten years ago. It was a video that uploaded I think in two thousand five or six. But either way. Um, it's super interesting to think that, um, think about what type of content really sparks you or intrigues you. So today I kind of been paying attention to the content that I'm watching and I think what really gets it for me is honesty. What do you like to watch on YouTube? Happy Kids TV and I and I show since I don't know how to put it on. <laughs> and uh, songs. <laughs> and all toy directors. Okay. And that's all. And Chase's Corner. honest it is the more real the content is I think the more entertaining it is for me even if it's not my truth if I can tell that it's someone else's truth I can buy into that so thinking about that when I'm editing videos today you know instead of editing out do I edit out every single uh, slip of the word do I go back and re-record this and re-record that or do I let some of those fallacies live within the project because it's real it's authentic um, so that's a part of it on a technical side, but on the other side, it's just, do you act, do you actually believe in what you're saying and you know, what you're doing and what you're, what you're actually recording and portraying online? Do you actually believe in it? Is it your truth? I think that's more important than anything. So hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow.